Hey everybody, welcome to Lighthearted Life and Collectibles. I'm feeling so much better today. So happy to be feeling so much better. I put this little outfit on Jenica and I couldn't believe it fit. Okay, Auntie Shell just got a new baby Nino sculpt in and she had put a zero to three month size outfit on him. Hers is going to be a boy and I was like, what, really? Because I just did not imagine a zero to three months would fit. Not at all. I never dreamed that it would fit. So I went to my little closet and got a zero to three month little girl outfit and got Jenica because she was wanting to see a video with her anyway. So um, lo and behold, it fits. I never would have believed it, but I kind of want to do a little dress up with her as I show her on camera. Now she is going to get rooted and she's going to get some skin tone enhancements as well as like her fingertips are wearing off and like the tips of her toes and stuff so she's got to get um some matte varnish well she's going to be touched up first and then you get the matte varnish and all that so this little outfit she's got on um, i'm going to change her out of it while i talk about my topic which is kind of a spinoff from my sis nikki over at all about nikki's dolls she talked about how the same sculpt can look differently like can they really look different, um, but with different collectors and different artists doing them? And that, yes, they definitely can look so different, even though there's going to be similarities, of course, because it's the same sculpt, but you can make them each look differently. Uh, and the same artist can make the same sculpt look differently by doing them totally different. So I kind of wanted to do a little spinoff, as I said, and talk about recognizing artist work like their techniques and if you see a doll do you automatically recognize that's a Natalie Blick sculpt or that is so-and-so artist um, artwork so and do you think that's a good thing or you know like what's your spin on it I'm gonna say my spin on it um, as I get her changed but she has on this little Gerber outfit that I'm so surprised it fits her. It's white with little aqua flowers and lime green flowers. And then it's got white ruffle shorts. And then she's got these coral shoes that have little flowers on the toe and white bottoms. And then she's got this big white iridescent headband bow, which I think I'm going to change her headband out. I'm not sure though. Um, I'm going to wait till I get this outfit on her because it will also match the little shoes. And this is Minnie Mouse. It's so cute. It's a zero to three months. So I'm going to keep on going on with a zero to three. <laughs> this does look pretty big though for zero to three. And it has the Hawaiian flowers just all over on a white background with blues and aquas. It's got a blue bow at a, a gathered elastic waist. And it has Minnie on the chest, and Minnie's bow has pink sequins, which are really pretty, with like a little netting over the top. And it's sleeveless with little ruffles around the neck, and it snaps in the straddle. So we're going to take this off, and I'm just going to do my little topic while we talk about that. And of course, she's got the little unicorn here. My babies love unicorns. So... Yeah, I wanted to talk about how there's artists where when you see their work, you recognize it and you know immediately before you even know the name of the sculpt or the artist that did it, you can take one look at that baby and say, that's Natalie Blick or that's Bonnie Brown, that's so-and-so, like what, whoever the sculptor is. So there's so many that you can tell that with. And I just named off a couple, like Natalie Blick babies. I love how they all have the chubby limbs and the full lips and all that. Like, even though they don't look alike, as far as like, it's not just like she's repeating the same sculpt over and over and over. Um, the technique, her sculpting technique is very, very similar and you can just tell that it's her work. And then there's Reva Schick. Her work is the same way. Like her babies also have chubby limbs and chunky ankles and all that. And they have full lips. 
but it's something about the cheek shape and I don't know like if you see um, so there's Ariana and then there's like um, a younger baby Linya by Riva Schick she looks like she could be Ariana's little sister hold on my puppy's one out of this ring okay sorry I'm not gonna edit this <laughs> I just want to upload it straight from my phone but, I mean, like, her babies all have this kinship, so to speak. So, like, I love that with sculptors, how you can, you can see that it's their work. Even though, you know, a lot of sculptors, they are sculpting real children a lot of times. They're, like, following a picture or whatever. You can still tell it's their work. And, like, with Ping Lao, her smilers, oh, my goodness. I have so many plans for Ping Lao babies coming next year. Like, y'all are going to be sick of me saying, new baby box opening, so-and-so by Ping Lao. <laughs> I mean, it's different sculpts. So, but yeah, I mean, I am just falling in love with all these babies that she is putting out lately. I mean, she is really on the ball about putting out these beautiful toddlers but her smilers, a lot of them, I love how they have that little signature tongue placement. A lot of her babies have open mouth smiles. And the way their little tongue is placed, it's so realistic to how when a baby is smiling or, you know, maybe even they're laughing out loud. They're not just smiling, but laughing also of where their tongue placement would be in their mouth. So, like, I can recognize a Ping Lao baby like that, too, because she, she's just a very talented sculptor. And, like I said, it's not that their work, if they're not sculpting the same baby over and over, but it's just their work just looks so similar that you can tell. And I think that's wonderful because it's kind of like a signature without a signature, you know? So, it's easy to recognize um the perfection of these dolls and that's why I mean, in, in, in this video I'm not going to be like fussing on anyone who buys replicas or whatever because that's none of my business I buy authentic dolls but I'm not going to berate or belittle anyone who spends their money on whatever they want because that's their money and they can do whatever they want with it but um but that's how you can tell also if you unknowingly buy a replica, there's going to be flaws that wouldn't normally be there because these sculptors sculpt perfection. So if you are seeing imperfections in like the way a tooth is shaped in a sculpt or, you know, the minor details that maybe should be there that wouldn't be there, that's kind of how you can recognize it is a replica. Because my understanding is, okay, it's one thing if you buy a replica and you know that's what you're getting. You're not being beguiled in any kind of way. You know that's what you're spending your money on. And to me, as an adult, you can make your own decisions to do that. But when someone tries to sell a replica and pass it off as the legit thing, that's totally wrong. And it's very hurtful to the person buying it because they think they're getting something that, that's legit. And, um, you know, I, that's just, I think that's wrong. I, I think it's also wrong for them to steal the actual sculpts and reproduce them. But once again, that's on the people doing it. And, you know, if the buyers know that that's what they're getting, I mean, we can't tell them how to spend their money. But you do need to stop it at the source because people are not going to stop buying them. So I am happy that Bountiful Baby won their lawsuit and they got like three million dollars and then they got all of their lawyer fees paid for for um, these companies taking their dolls and reproducing them without their permission. So, um, you know, that's, that's where you should stop this at. It's not up to us as collectors to go and belittle and berate and seek out people who have a replica and say, how dare you? You know, like that's, no, I'm not doing that. I never will do that. But I will always buy authentic myself. 
I just noticed there's a little tad of yellow in those flowers. So I'm going to try this yellow headband on her. Okay, so this video was not about stolen skull. So um, I'm not going to make it about that. But I just wanted to kind of say that. But, you know, I'm not going to tell anyone else that they can't spend their money on whatever they want. I mean, that's not up to me, as I said. And I'm not going to say mean things to them or berate them in any kind of way. But like I said, I will always buy authentic because that's the kind of reborn baby dolls I want. I want the the real thing in my collection because I want it. I want to support the sculptors. And um, so, yeah, that's that's just what I have to say about that. But I will never shun anyone. I will never not speak to someone because they have replica dolls. That's just not me. That's not who I am. That's not what I'm made of. So anyways, now that that's out of the way, here's Jenica. She is dressed so cute now. She's got her little coral shoes back on. She's got her Minnie Mouse outfit on that I just described for you. And then she's got her little colorful unicorn that got kind of the same vibe. It's not the same colors, but it definitely matches in. It does have yellow though as the outfit and the headband. And the headband is just the, the perfect little added piece. So this can't go in her mouth, of course, because it's modified to uh, go into one of my other baby's mouths. But I'm just going to put it on her little, her little thumb like that. Make it look like she's just holding it. Her little passy. Just for looks. So there might actually be a passy holder that would tie in with this. Yeah, not the same colors, but I think it would look good with it. It's like a lavender and white chevron. So we'll make it work. And then the little passy has um, a cloud with moon and stars hanging from it. I got it upside down. Switch it around. I'm so particular about that. Like I want the right way to be showing it. Not that a real baby would care. They wouldn't care if it was the one way or the other. But I do as a dolly collector. So yeah, there's little Jenica. I'll turn her little unicorn this way. So I talked about the sculptors and I talked about the sculpts that are replicas when that wasn't even my plan. But hey, it, it's in there so it's staying because like I said, I'm not etching this video. Um, so now I want to talk about like artist work like a particular painter. Everybody kind of has their own style and all of their babies has their, has their artist signature on it. You know what I mean? Like Sweet Potato Pie Nursery. When you see her babies, I know immediately that Sweet Potato Pie Nursery did those babies because, well, one, her photography she has a lot of old-fashioned baby toys and stuff like that. And I like the way she poses them with old-fashioned accessories like strollers and all kind of stuff. So that's really sweet to see that. I love that. I love anything that's old-fashioned and vintage. But her painting style, like her hair painting style and all that, she does this painted hair that's just really beautiful. And it's very recognizable when you see her style. So she's one of the artists that you can definitely recognize that that's her work. Another artist whose work is like super recognizable, I can tell by looking at the baby, I don't even have to see that it says reborn to buy, and that's Anna Shiva. Her babies all have her signature on them too. Like you can just tell that that's her work because when she does prototypes, she does like these this certain beautiful golden skin tone with these bright blue eyes most of the time and i just, i love her her work it's like that it's just she brings out this beautiful just like sun-kissed biracial skin tone you would just have to go look at her babies if you haven't to know what i'm talking about but you will know it's her work automatically just by looking at it you won't even have to see her name 
Oh, and there's another one. I don't want to say her last name wrong, but it starts with an E. Her first name is Sylvia. She makes a lot of prototype babies, but you can recognize her work like just like that. You're like, oh, that's a Sylvia baby. Like That's what I call them, a Sylvia baby. And um, I've had people actually say that they fell in love with her prototypes and then they would commission another artist to make one and not that the artist they commissioned did a bad job, but they were like, oh, it didn't look like the one I fell in love with. And I've heard other people say this too, so I'm going to say it myself. If you really fall in love with that artist's work, then even if you have to be on a waiting list or whatever, if it's going to make or break your bond with the sculpt when you get it in and you see that it doesn't look like the other artist's work, then I would say commission that artist to do the work for you. That's just my humble advice. Um, and so my, now I'm going to talk about my artists that I use regularly. Um, my artist, Sandra Stanley, at Dolls by Sandra Stanley Art, I personally feel like her work is recognizable. But she also has uh, techniques that where it's a little different. Um, and not saying the other artists don't. I'm just saying like, even though I recognize her work, I can see another baby that's done by her. And I'm like, Sandra did that baby. And I've actually messaged her before saying, did you make this baby? And then she would say, yeah, yeah, that's one I did. It's so it's like her work is very recognizable. And maybe not to someone else, they might not see it as recognizable as I do because I've had babies from her for years. I started using Sandra as an artist in 2016, I want to say, late 2016. I think so. Anyway, so that's a long time. It's 2022. So, you know, I've looked at all her work up close and personal firsthand and in both vinyl and silicone because she used to do vinyl babies. So I recognize her work. And then Megan at Doodle Bucks Reborn Nursery, I would say that her work is recognizable, but she also is constantly changing in her technique because she just started reborning a couple of years ago. So she is learning more and more techniques as she goes along. And she just recently did a baby for Jenny over at um, Campbell's Kids Reborn Nursery. And the baby has Lanugo on it. And I'm just like, oh, the next little tiny baby I get. I definitely want that because it looks so realistic when you have that teeny tiny new baby, you know, that really small, either larger preemie or small newborn. They have that Lanugo on them for like a very, a couple of weeks, usually after they're born. So, um, I love that she has started, uh, dabbling with that technique because I think it's really pretty and I definitely want her to do some little babies for me like that. So now that I've talked about all that, do you personally think that it's a good thing for artists to have work that's super recognizable, um, and that looks very similar or do you think that's a bad thing because um, maybe in your opinion you feel like if their work always looks that way, like maybe they're not growing in technique or whatever? Me personally, um, I think it's good business-wise because, like I said, when you can look at a baby and be like, so-and-so did that baby, that is like the ultimate for putting your brand out there. Like they have done it right. They have succeeded. So I personally think that that's very good for them business-wise. It's good for their recognition of their name. And it's going to, you know, they're going to be called upon a lot to do prototypes and stuff like that because sculptors are going to want to use them. And I also think it's good to have work that's recognizable, but yet you can see the growth because, um, like I said, with Megan, she's only been reborning for like two years. Her growth is just astonishing me every time she puts out another doll. Like I'm like, oh my goodness, because it was good. Well, great. Awesome. When I first started going to her and I'm like, I didn't think, which I'm not saying she couldn't get better. So that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying it that way. 
But I was looking at the babies that I got for her. I'm like, oh, these, this is wonderful. It couldn't get any better. But it does get better because it's like every time she puts out more dolls, she uses different techniques that she learns and all that. And I think that's wonderful. So my answer to that question is, yes, I think it's absolutely wonderful to have your work to be recognizable. And I also think it's wonderful to learn and incorporate new techniques. And I think that's what every artist does so that um, their, their work is still recognizable, but changing with the times. So yeah, that is my little discussion on that. And I hope Auntie Shell enjoyed seeing Jenica. And um, also Shell, if you didn't know, um, you can also see this sculpt over on Campbell's Kids Reborn Nursery. She's got one too, who is a boy. And then also Nicole over at Special Angel Art Dolls. So um, you can go check out their channels if you want to see more videos with the Nino sculpt while you're waiting to get yours reborn and all that. So I'm excited for you. I'm happy for you. I know you're excited to get him done and get him back home and do lots of videos. And thank you for letting me know that zero to three months also fits this sculpt. But y'all, I kid you not, three to six months and six months will also fit this sculpt. And I have never seen a sculpt that could wear such a wide variety of sizes. I've never had a sculpt that can wear six months and all the, also zero to three, never. So I guess it has something to do with um, the limbs, the way they're shaped, because you know, the ba this baby does have achondroplasia dwarfism. So that might have something to do with it. I don't know. But yeah, um, I just never would have dreamed that I could put her in zero to three months, but here she is. <laughs> so that's it, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this reborn baby doll community discussion about artists and their work and how you can recognize it and um i'll see you in my next video thank y'all for watching